Okay, good morning once again. And how are you today? Okay, that's good to hear. Okay, welcome to our online class. But I would like to double check with our attendance. Have you signed in the attendance sheet that I posted in the Google Classroom? Okay, just to make sure we have 21 students right now. So later on, if I will check the attendance, I'll see to it that there are also 21. Okay. Have you any question, Eliza? Okay, very good. So I know you're very excited. So before you get carried away, I'd like you to go over the online rules that we are going to have for this class. Okay, can you see anything? Not yet. I just want one to please answer for now. The rest you can mute your microphone. Okay, very good. We have there five. I'd like one to read number one. Yes, can. Can you read rule number one? Ken, are you still with us? Not I'd anymore. like to go uh, Okay, yes, please. Number one, the use of microphone. Very good. The use of microphone. Like I've told you from the previous class, when you're going to speak up or you want to ask questions, just simply turn on the microphone. And if not, then mute it. Number two. Yes, Pressy. No, talk box while class is going on. No unnecessary use of chat box while class is going on. That includes your messenger, your Facebook, any other social media. So when we're going to have our class, I'd like everyone to focus on the session and not, okay, of course, not using the other chat box. Number three, Eliza. Yes, sir. Please read number three, yes. Playing online games is a no-no while at class. No, online. we should capitalize no, especially for the boys. I know you get the hang of playing the games, but you cannot do that while we're having our class. Number four. Always ask permission when you want to speak up. Okay, just simply say, Pressy or Teacher Bernal, I want to say something. And lastly, everybody, not everybody, but maybe one again. <laughs> Ask a question to publish the rules. Ask, okay, asking questions is always encouraged. Asking questions if you want to clarify, if you don't follow, if or there is something you need to make things clear. So, any questions about our classroom rules? Is it clear enough? Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, yes, Ken, you want to say something? Okay, so would you please mute your microphone for now as I'm going to let, uh, let you read or check the learning objectives are the objectives that we are going to hit for today. We have here four objectives. Can you see it on screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Do you want me to read it for you or you want to read it for me? And silence means I'm going to read it for you. We have we're going to identify the voice of the verb in the given sentences. Two, transform sentences from active to passive, voice or vice versa. Please read number three for me. 
Anyone from the class? Anyone from the group? Show enthusiasm and cooperation on the given task. Say it again, enthusiasm. Let's get it on. Again? during the class discussion. So that is why I introduced earlier the rules that you are going to observe and that's one way of checking whether you are interested in the class or not. Am I right? Very good. Learning objectives are very clear. But before hitting those objectives that I show on screen, I like to I'd like to check whether you can still remember the previous discussion that we had last Monday. Let's try to recall. You can still remember what we have talked about last Monday. Let's thank you, Daniel, for that try. 
statement three. Who wants to read it for me? You're thinking about Fiona. Yes, Fiona. I will give chance to the others. Okay, give chance to the others. Very good. And I think you know what the load for now. Yes, Fiona. Who would you like to answer? Sorry, Ken. Fiona don't want to answer you. Chuck. Char.
What do you mean by voice of the verb? Please write it down. And in a while, we'll differentiate one from the other. Last one. Give your example on the sentence in the active voice and also in the passive voice. Okay, you have two minutes to do it.
That means the subject performs the performs the action. Okay, the action denoted by the verb. Well, when you say passive voice, it's when the subject is no longer active, but instead it's being acted upon. Okay, am I breaking up? Okay, active voice. Look at the example. The barangay officials distribute the relief goods. Why did we present that? Why did I present that in color? The barangay officials in yellow is our is our subject. Our verb is distribute. Okay, and then the relief goods are object now. What or who is doing the action? Who does the action or who does the verb? The barangay officials, which is our subject. So what do we say about active voice? It's when the subject performs the the verb, very good. Let's study. Example, sentence two. Seal in the active voice. The expert sent the swab test result. The expert, well done. What is our active verb? Sent. And who does the action? Expert. The expert, which is our subject. So when we say, again, when we say, when the subject does the action, the sentence is in the active, active voice. Well done. Last example for active voice. They delivered the relief goods. Where is our subject? They. Everybody say they. Did it be? They. Delivered is our active verb. De delivered is our active verb. If you see, the subject is doing the action. Again, when it's in active voice, the subject is doing the action. Whereas, when you say passive voice, again, you've seen this on the clip. The subject is no longer active, but instead it's being acted upon by the verb. Study the example, the first one. The relief goods are distributed by the barangay officials. That's our subject. The action of the verb is done to the subject, which is by them. Okay, so let's check active against passive. The barangay officials distribute the relief goods. When you change it to passive, so what will happen to our subject? The relief goods are distribute, distributed by the barangay officials. Why do we use are? Look at your screen. Why do we use are? Because the subject is already? Is it in singular? Okay, plural. Very good. Example two. The expert sent the swab test results. When changed to passive, what will be our subject this time? Yes, please read it for me. The swap the test results were signed by the expert. Okay, very good. And how about the example? Third example, the last one. They delivered the relief goods. Where is our subject in this active voice? They delivered the relief goods. Where is the subject? They. Okay, observe again the passive. What happens when we are going to change it to passive? 
Do they have the same subject? No. No, because in passive, it is already acted upon. Okay, so let's do practice. After differentiating active from passive, I'd like you to construct your own examples. But this time, I will be showing you pictures. With the picture comes the instruction whether you are going to construct active or passive. Again, use your scratch paper or your notebook or things that you can write on. You just simply take a picture at the end of the session showing your output. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Look at picture number one. Make a sentence in active voice. The picture is shown on screen. Are we good? Are we ready for the next picture? I'm waiting. Are we good for the first picture? Okay, are we ready for the second one? Look at the picture. Construct a sentence in passive voice. Do you still have the picture on screen? Are we good for the second picture? Not yet, sir. Not yet. I'll be giving you more five seconds. If you can remember the picture, you can carry on with your sentence construction. Then we'll have the third picture. Make a sentence in passive voice. Passive. Make sure you have pen and paper out with you. How's the screen going on? Are you still seeing the picture? Do you still see the picture on screen? You are busy with your sentence construction. We're down to the last picture. Take a look. Make a sentence in active voice. Okay, now to give you a chance to go over the pictures. Beginning with picture one, make a sentence in active voice. Active. Picture two, make a sentence in passive voice. Picture three, make a sentence in passive voice. Picture four, construct your sentence in the active voice. And the last picture, make a sentence in active voice. There you are. I hope everyone's ready with their work. Are you through from sentence one to five? Done? Okay, can we have just one example from picture one? And then I will be collecting your work out from the Google Classroom again. So no throwing of papers, please. And I hope we are doing our activity with honesty. Quiz time is due for due for 10 minutes. How to do the quiz? I will be posting. Okay, that's again. What was the problem? Who was that? Was it Pressy or Eliza? What's the problem? Oh, uh, Pressy, yes. Yes, Manga, what's the problem? You were not able to...
able to open the link. Okay, so the 10 minutes has been good too. So like I said, you're going to check your work. You're going to post your work in the classroom. And I will have to get up with your score same in the uh, in the same room. But Pressy is very worried that she's not able to finish. We are going to have another round of activity after this anyway. Okay, so look at your screen now. I will be posting, sharing the assignment that you are going to answer. Observe the activities done by the following members of the family during the enhanced community quarantine. Then do what is being asked. Example, my mother teaches us cooking. That's an active, right? Passive, we are taught cooking by our mother. So you're going to do the same for numbers. One. Two, three, four, and five. Those are the family members. Question about the assignment. You don't have to submit anything here in school, but you are going to submit in the... Where are you going to submit our work? In the... Classroom. Okay, Google Classroom. All the outputs I need to see at the end of the session in the Google Classroom. The same goes through with your assignment. I will be checking this one first thing tomorrow morning for the assignment. For the output, I will be checking as soon as we log out. Do you get me? I'll check your assignment in the Google Classroom first thing tomorrow. I will check the output from the practice. Is it clear? Okay, so let's have the... Can I ask? Yes, yes, ga? Can I answer? Pwede ko maka-answer ang tawag niya siya ganina? Wala ko siya maka-answer. Okay, which one is that? Okay, no problem. Post your answer in Google Classroom. You can still visit the link. Alright? Okay, don't worry about that. You can go to the link if you check the chat box. I sent the link out there, click answer and then post it in the classroom. Or I'll give you like 30 minutes before I will have to do the checking on the classroom. Is it right? Yes. Okay, very good. And lastly, you are going to make a hashtag that summarizes your learning. Just type in hashtag two voices are there, hashtag active, passive, on the go. Have you any questions before we're going to end up the session? Any questions? Yes? Ang gandang sa assignment ba? Yes. Kaya di ba ang nakabunta sa mga kuwan kay na i-active? Buwata na ako sa o i-active kung pasi sa teacher. Yes, you will have to do. Say for example, one further, what is being asked is active, construct active, and you are going to... Yes, change it to passive. And the other way around, if passive is being asked, you will also have to construct the active. So therefore, you will be making how many sentences for every number? Two. Two. Very good. Active and passive. Any more question? No more? The slides assignment. Go to Google Classroom. I posted it there. You have assignment number two. For we had already our assignment one last time. So go to Google Classroom. You can see there the assignment. Then you are going to... Okay. Any more questions? Not so far. So are we good for today's session? Can I hear a yes, yes, yes? All right, yes. you can now turn on your microphone as we are about to end the session and we will be seeing each other again tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.